Hello, and today we're going to be playing Rust, as everyone could probably see. I've uh, kind of decided to play a few more games now, because I've recently purchased a new computer for myself, and uh, I guess there's no time, like now, to use it efficiently. So I've spawned in this area, and I've played Rust for quite a while, so I thought I'd start a new server and just kind of do a, a walkthrough kind of a thing. Uh, you find naturally made buildings like this around the map, <coughs> well, all around the map really, and they'll have certain chests like this, and you'll find certain items, certain items are good, like these large medic kits, they heal you 100 health, which to be fair, personally, they're alright, but they're not brilliant. You find like certain little cubby holes and stuff like this, sometimes you'll find more than one thing in an area or sometimes you only find one thing or like that I, this spot here will now re like uh respawn stuff like that a pallet will respawn chests and there's a pallet here which has been taken from I don't know whether it's recently or it's just not spawned yet so finally yeah all sorts of buildings like that there's something there I'm not sure what that is I'll have a look at that in a second but yeah there's one over here as well. Hopefully, have something in it for me. No, that means someone is either nearby me or has been this way recently. But I mean, the medicates will do all right. I mean, that would be like nice to kind of have for now. So there's something under here. Like I don't know actually if it's if it's like accessible uh, uh, by the looks of that. You can't get in that. <laughs> so yeah. Um well, this game's been out for Oh, I'm not quite sure actually how long this game's been out for. But it's been quite a popular game really. I mean like the last patch is the 9th of January. And today is the 18th of January, so it's been about a week since the patch has been out, so you know since the latest patch. But I've really gotten with this game. Uh, I saw it, I've seen a lot of people play it, a lot of famous YouTubers, like, well, I don't really know the names as such, but I know Markiplier plays it, and uh, him and Bob play it, they do their own series, and then Wade and Zombie, and I feel really bad for not knowing the other person's name, but I don't really watch Wade much anymore, I used to want to use play with Markiplier, but now he's, I just, I just didn't really, I, thought, I, thought, I didn't forget about him, I just didn't realise who he was until... Oh god, I'm feeling shot at. I'm not sure where they're from. Um, might be over there. Are they shooting at me or they're shooting at zombies? So like, I've got these headphones with a microphone, obviously. Cause I hope I should sound better than I did in my some other videos. But yeah, I can kind of turn my character, and I can hear from certain like obviously about here. Which way the sounds come from? Yeah, it's definitely coming from over in that area. So there's definitely some activity over there. And I kind of, I roughly know my way around the Rust map. I mean, I'm not fantastic. I can't navigate really. I can get back to where I've been, and I can. Get up, so I, I knew where I was going now. I knew where I was coming to because I've been here before. And I've turned this base place, this base place, this base, well this. Uh, old hangar, I guess they are, aren't they? Yeah, uh, into a base before. Metal fragments. Metal fragments are good. Like uh, ten isn't great, but I mean it's better than nothing, really. Cloth, good. I need cloth for when I make a sleeping bag. Oh, large storage crates. That's actually all right. That'll save me some wood. Right, there's a uh, a pig there. I don't really want to go after the pig as such yet, because to kill it with uh, my rock, it's going to take quite a while, but if I open up my craft and find out where my stone hatchet is, I need 10 wood. So I better get some wood then. I mean like, you can get wood from like just hacking at trees, they do run out, but they do obviously like, they don't fall down or anything, but they do like, get the wood back after time, but there's also wood piles which I'd advise looking for more, really, than trees 
Because trees are just so slow at getting wood. Like, how much have I got at the moment? Nine. One more. Okay. Come on, wood. There we go. And now I need five stones. So I'll try and get five stones, make a hatchet, and then I'll come after this pig. As you can see at the bottom, uh, right corner, I've got my health, which kind of stays like that, really, generally, it stays quite high most of the time. And then we've got food, which I'm going to have to kill things like pigs, uh, deers, chickens, rabbits, bears, and wolves. They'll drop, well, they'll drop chicken breasts, I know it's not very realistic, but that's what it's set to. One more stone. Yeah, and then you can craft a campfire and you can cook them on there. You'll be able to see in a second. That's, this is a stone. This is where you get ore from. You can't just like hack at any random cliff. And as you can see to my left, there's a wood pile, which you'll see from the trees. I was getting one wood at a time when I was hitting it with my stone. If I craft my Oh, my um, ha I iron hatch, uh, stone hatcher, sorry. I forgot I was on an Insta craft server then. I'll try and get this wood. I don't. There's a bear behind there. Shh. I just have to not anger the bear. You'll see how much faster it is, and I get seven wood instead of one at a time. I'm really trying to, like, not startle this bear. And I started it. Good job, me. Good job. And the one thing I didn't want to do. I might. S yeah, they still come after me. So I'm going to kind of head into this little house thing. Try and hide it out. Whether or not actually I can, and we another situation. But they'll, they will like lose aggravation on you after a while. I can still hear it. Shit, is it in here? Yeah, it, I'm sorry for swearing. Oh, it's still in here. It's after me. It's coming from that way, yep. God, so I need to find a way of losing this. There's wood there. I need that wood, really. Unless I just... I'm going to chase this pig down at the same time. And basically beat this down. I think I need to turn my. Fuck, sorry. I'm really starting to get panicky because, like, sounds like I'm being shot at. I really need to quickly change my game, my. And then my just general volume. go. That should be fine now. So there was gunshots. Hello? Oh, thank you. As you can hear that you've got voice chat in this game. And people tend to be quite friendly. Like, if they know they're more powerful than you, they'll tend to be friendly. But if they see you as a a threat or anything, they'll kind of, you know, they'll do what, what I thought was going to happen to me. And they were gonna kill, I thought he was going to kill me, but he was pretty nice to me about it, to be fair. Like, this is a PvP. It's a no sleeper. I don't know what a no sleeper means. I really don't know. It's an insta craft, so there's no, like, wait time between crafting, which is, I like, this is why I picked the server for the, the uh, insta craft. Oh, someone's got a campfire here. Oh, God knows. Oh, some ammunition. Right, nine millimeter rounds are used for pistols. Like, uh, I can't remember any names of them. Actually, I've got this one in. There's one you can craft. Uh, isn't there? Oh, no, there isn't. But you can craft a revolver now. I know that. And revolvers. Oh, I haven't used a revolver yet, to be fair. I probably need to soon. Bandages are good because that's when you start bleeding. And I have rad boots, and as you can see, they have certain stats. And like rad boots, to be fair, are pretty. They're pretty common when it comes across loot. But I mean, like you know, you still want to take it. You don't want to turn down some free radiation boots, like if you haven't got any already. 
and like you have a limited craft in here. Like you can see, there's obviously a lot of stuff to craft, really. In the, uh, in in the uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff to craft. But you can find, say, if there's something you find, like I don't know, uh, these large, large med kits. I can't craft them. You can buy, you can not buy. You can find things called research kits, and if you use a research kit, a bit of paper on a workbench, you can then learn it to craft for yourself. Like I found a server that was uh, non-PVP. And I probably found I found so much like I found a hot like uh, bolt action rifles I researched and stuff like that loads of guns M4s loads of pistols and you can get attachments for your guns you can get a suppressor I found well I found a couple of them uh yeah wait suppressor a laser sight a hollow sight and a flashlight I think that's, that's all I know of. At the moment, but there could be more. As you can hear, that kind of clickingy, kind of a yeah sound. That's radiation. That person I just saw, I assume, has just looted this area, which is why there's nothing here for me. That must have been the person. Yeah. And yep, see, there's nothing there either. So he must have already been here. I want to see if I can find him again. Because he seemed pretty nice to me, to be fair, compared to how a lot of people can be towards you. You kind of really want to leave chickens unless you're new and desperate for food. Like, I've got some food already, so I should be fine. But... See, this pig's taking a lot more beating than the last one. I must have started hitting a pig that man had already chased down. So... But yeah... I'm, deba I'm debating what to do, whether to build a base in there, or build one around this area. And kind of just, you know, come to this thing every now and then to check resources. Right. Nothing there. Nothing there. I can't find the person I saw earlier. Whether or not he's looted this area, I won't know yet. But I was debating making something like a house and putting it in here, really. Yeah, he's been in here as well. So that means... Oh, there's a wood pile there. That's where... Yeah, this is where I got chased by the bear, wasn't it? So... I've... No idea where he's gone, to be fair. I'm not sure how long this episode is going to be. I might have to chop him up. And, uh, well, you might just hit. Yeah, I'll probably have to chop him up. I'm probably going to do a series. Hopefully, on this server, if I can. Well, it'll be in my history, but whether or not I'll remember it's this server, hopefully I will. <coughs> It'll be good. Some servers, I'm not sure if it's all servers, but if you build uh, stuff with, like, foundations and stuff, which is basically, like, quite advanced building, you'll. Builders can degrade if you don't open doors within a certain amount of time. So I don't really know. Really, that's not going to be on here like every day. So I'm going to try and keep my videos quite up to date as well. Then see, there's radiation over here. Oh, I know where I am. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of zombies around this area. Well, up there. I don't know why, I've never known why there's a lot of zombies up there, but there just tends to be. Zombies aren't really a threat. You can outrun all zombies. Like, there's no zombies that can just, like, see you and you you basically, that's it, you're done. Obviously, if you have no uh, hunger, you love no, you can't run. So, you kind of will be screwed. But, you know, you shouldn't get to that point, really. Like, somewhere up here, I would say, up from this cliff here, is quite a good place to build a, like, a shelter. So you got your crafting. Why, well, where's the wooden shelter? 50. Insta crafted. Okay. Four. See, like, you can't place it on here. So I might need to move it down to on so here. Will it let me place it? Yes, it will. So I kind of need to have a game plan about this. Like, if I have it. Have it like here. Yeah, it's not that's not like through the floor too much or anything. And now I wanna make a wooden door, which is dirty. You could 
If I'm putting my wood together just to save inventory, just so I know how much I've got roughly. Alright. That's my door. Oh, there's an airdrop. There's an airdrop. Did you hear an airplane? Yeah, here it is. Right, there it is. I will be at some point going for airdrops. It's kind of a, a free for all blood, blood, blood bath. But obviously, at the moment, I haven't got any kind of gear to really prepare myself. And you want to make, you also want to make a fire, which you can place down. I'll put mine, put mine there. You probably shouldn't put it near the walls because then people can see the glow. But you have to hold. Wait, basically, you can use it, which lights it. But you have to hold, you turn it off, uh, and then you hold it E, and it brings up ignite or open. You want to open it. This is your wood supply. This is where you put wood in. You want to put your chicken breast. Is it chicken breast? Yep. Four chicken breast in here where it says cook. You'll make charcoal. That's just like a byproduct. Uh, you want to split. Oh, well, you don't. You don't have to, but I'm gonna put some more wood in there just to make sure that's got enough. Turn it on. There's no, I think they're thinking about adding like this, as this burns or as this changes, it would, you'll be able to know whether it's cooked, you just have to check it every now and then. Um, I've got a large ch like thing here. I kind of want to, okay, if I can have it, I don't want to have it too, like, see so, like, can I get out now? Oh well, yeah, I can get in and out still. Oh, that's fine then. That's yeah, that's fine. Well, I was worried about my access. How much cloth? I've got 18 cloth, and you kind of you want to make a sleeping bag, which is 15 cloth. Whether or not I can place this is now okay. Yeah, yeah, I can. Obviously, it's going to be very cozy. Right, sleeping my feet right in the fire, but you know you don't get affected by like standing in the fire yet. And I kind of want to put stuff like yeah, my mid kits in here, my metal. My flares, my bullets. I'll put my rock in there because it just so it doesn't clap me up. Like a normal, small. We can make a small. Where is it? A wood storage box is this one. There's only like one technical. Like what it would look like. But it's just like one of these. But then you scroll down, you get loads of room in these big ones. So if you can find them, just pick them up and take them. You want to put? Oh, I might put my my cloth in there as well. I can keep this on me for now. Hopefully I've got some food ready for me. Yep. Each chicken breast heals 500 hunger. Whoops, ask the command prompt, don't worry about that. Well actually, thinking about it, but when you're... Okay, I can't really show you. But when you join a server, there'll be a lot of like, a very tall grass. If you press F1, it brings up the control prompt. If you type in grass... Dot... Oh, dot, sorry. On space false that will that will remove it and it will very help your gameplay I, I love having it off it just seems so much smoother as you can hear you, you can hear your person eating so you know you're eating yeah well I don't know whether I'll be building on here or I'll build down actually this looks like quite a nice building plot actually thinking about it I can build a nice house here like when I get some more wood. So yeah, this will be probably a permanent place for now down here, and then I'll just keep an eye out, f really, because obviously my little shot is up here for now. Uh it's, it's it's roughly about day for 45 minutes, and it's night for about 15, so it can be a bit annoying. But I tend to try and get somewhere safe, and um, just kind of log off until it's day again. Um, on here when you log off, I, this is a no sleeper so I don't know what that means. Uh, uh, yeah, I've got no idea what it means. But when you normally when you log off, you, your character basically falls asleep wherever you're standing so you just like flop over on the floor or something. So, um, but on this is a no sleeper so I don't know whether you can be killed when you're asleep or not. I'm not sure. But, for now, we'll call that episode 1. I'll see what the response is for it. I'll probably be putting one up every day, if not every other day, depending on how long it takes to, you know, I've got to edit it. Well, not really edit it as such, but I've got to compress it because I use fraps and it makes such big files. I've, I've got special software. Feel free. But it compresses it, keeps the quality. 
keeps the audio. It's all fine. But yeah, we'll call that an episode for now. See you lot in episode two.